Corey Staley has joined us. He is in Salt Lake City, Utah. He's an economist with the Indeed Hiring Lab. So, Corey, uh, you, you were just telling me there was a little snow on the ground out there when you got up this morning. So, stay warm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the best I can. So, All right. Yeah, unfortunately, you got a dog you got to take around the neighborhood, but uh, <laughs> I'll stay as warm as I can. Let's jump right into the 2024 Jobs and Hiring. Uh, trends report. You want to give us a quick overview of that as we look to the uh, the job market next year. Yeah. So ultimately, what this report you know was that we published is we were really looking back on 2023 and you know making a note of the fact that based on all the economic data we're seeing right now, really what we didn't see in 2023 was a recession. And so as we're looking forward to 2024, we were asking this question around what is it we might need to do to carry forward that resilience we saw in 2023 into 2024. And from that, we identified five different trends around employers continuing to hire, job seekers entering into the labor market, and uh, also with kind of wage growth, inflation, and you know, we looked at a lot of those different things. But I think what will be really, really interesting, I think, to a lot of people, you know, in your audience is the piece that we're focusing on and looking at generative AI yes. and artificial intelligence and really watching this next year as to the role that that might play in really transforming and impacting jobs. So, Corey, from your perspective, what role do you think AI will play in prospective jobs in the future? Just from your perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So from my perspective, and luckily we've actually done some research on this pretty recently where we've kind of looked at the types of things that generative AI is capable of. And we've kind of compared that to the data that we have. We actually took over 55 million postings on Indeed and we analyzed the skills in those postings. And what we found from that was a really interesting insight, which was pretty much every single job has some level of exposure to something like generative AI. You know, as we look into each of our jobs, you know, have a lot of different skills involved mm -hmm, in them. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us use email no matter where we're at. You know, right. janitors, right. you know, maybe even use email <laughs> right. all the way up. You know, and so, you know, we start to look at those types of skills. And those are skills that generative AI is really, really good at helping with. But there are a lot of skills where generative AI cannot necessarily help. You know, you think about a nurse, you know, right. like generative right. AI might be able to help and say, hey, you know, maybe this is a, a way you could potentially care for this person, but generative AI is not going to go help someone in and out of their bed, you know, or, you know, care for a person. So that person human element is something yes. that just That's cannot be replaced, be replaced with generative right. AI. All right. So let's talk about hot jobs. So what in, in, again, from your research, what are the hot jobs in 2024? Is it still tech and healthcare? Yeah, so I mean, so what we've seen, I mean, in the last, you know, year especially is that, you know, a lot of tech mm -hmm. has really cooled off. You know, we've oh. heard about these kind of layoffs, right, in tech right. Okay. that have been at the foremost. And when we kind of roll it up and we look at kind of the top line number, we see layoffs are still pretty low overall. You know, by and large, tech employers are still holding on to their workers, but we have seen a pretty significant pullback in hiring in tech. So there are still plenty of opportunities out there in tech, mm -hmm. but it's going to be far less than it was in kind of the boom, okay. boom, boom time of, you know, 2021 right. when we saw, you know, tech just, just absolutely explode, you know, and so I think there's going to be less opportunity there and where we've seen instead more opportunity, you know, it has been in more of those human mm -hmm. focus roles, you know, more in nursing, yes. childcare, and even some, somewhat in you know manufacturing and construction, some of these skilled trades are still very much in a place where there are a lot of opportunities available. Right, and we in South Carolina have a 16 um, sites of technical colleges and, and a lot of manufacturing moving into our state here. So yeah, a lot of job opportunities, particularly here in the low country. So anything else? We have about 30 seconds left. Any other tips you can, can give us, Corey? I just think that overall, kind of my biggest tip would be as we go into 2024, you know, we can kind of, you know, use the crystal ball as much as possible and kind of look and say, this is what might happen. But we're really going to know what's happening as we kind of watch the data unfold. And the best place to do that is going to be to go to hiringlab.org. Okay. Um, and that's where we published this trends report and where we publish a lot of other economic data 
uh, that people can kind of keep their eye on in the next year. Very good. Corey Staley with the Indeed Hiring Lab. Great interview. Thank you for all the super information. Thank you, Corey, and have a wonderful holiday. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. After the break, Senator Tom Davis will give us an update on the Hilton Head Bridge.